Hello viewers and welcome back to the Plugin India channel. We have the EV issue tracker episode 4. So in this episode, let's take a look back at the previous issues, a retrospective look and see if any progress has been made in those. First off, we have Mr. Swaroop from Mumbai who owns a pure EV ePluto 7G. He's been owning it for the past 7 months, driven 1400 kilometers and his issue was that the switch would get stuck. The turn indicator switch would keep beeping when he rode his scooter in the rains. Now uh, the dealer applied some spray. He told he fixed that in that fashion, but the issue is not gone yet. He's been told to cover up the switches. He's been told to apply some uh, a spray which removes the moisture because this is the reason why this beeping is coming on. But uh, whenever he rides it in the, in the rain, this beeping comes back. So the issue is still open because they can't keep going back to the dealer every time to apply that electric spray. Uh, Swaroop needs to ride his scooters in the monsoon as well. So pending a permanent, permanent solution, this issue is open. So we've also spoken to a couple of other ePluto 7G owners and asked them to test their scooters in the monsoon and keep the thread in the forums updated. So guys, check out the link to the forums in the description below and see if somebody has come up with a solution. So friends, this is our second issue that we are following from previous months, uh, uh, somewhere in July. Uh, Sehul from Mumbai, who is a Tata Nexon EV owner uh, for the past uh, five months, and he had a very interesting problem of dancing lights. And well, uh, that wasn't the main issue that was solved, but the actual issue was that his battery pack would suddenly drop, the SOC would go down to zero or very low and he couldn't use his vehicle. Uh, they said that Tata Motors was still deciding on the 8th of July whether they would change his pack or not and from his 10 months of ownership, 2 months of that was spent in the service center. So he is totally not happy with that slow decision making process. So on the 20th of July, we've got an update from Sehul where he says that he has been given a new battery. Basically, it's a refurbished battery and his software has been downgraded and he's been asked not to upgrade the software otherwise the same fault would happen again. Again, Sehul is not happy with this. Firstly, the refurbished pack. Second thing is that uh, there was a range problem with the Tata Nexon which a update had fixed. So they would get better range from the vehicle and that he is not going to be able to avail. So he's definitely not happy with this part of Tata Motors customer service. So guys, the status of this issue is still open uh, because the customer is not satisfied. He's not satisfied on many levels. First of all, the slow decision making process. Secondly, that after the decision was taken, the fix that he was given was not satisfactory. He's been given a refurbished battery pack. They don't want to give him a brand new battery pack. And then it's kind of hacky, you know, because he's been asked not to upgrade his software, which means that he won't get bug fixes, which means that he's not getting the range that the car should actually be given, giving him that was promised. So basically, guys, we keep this issue open. We are absolutely uh, petrified. We are not happy with the service that Tata Motors is giving its consumers. They should be acting fast. They should be giving them new replacement packs. They should be allowing them to use the best possible version of their vehicle. So we're not happy with Tata Motors service and the issue is open. So moving on to the third issue, we have Aether 450X and 450 plus owners who have reported an issue in the dashboard. Basically, stuff is happening, uh, three or four things are going wrong, there's a problem with warp mode, it's not very stable, keeps shutting off again and again, there's a problem with maps. So this was Aether owners with the software version 10.1.4 and of course we had also assured them that Aether would come up with a fix. Aether did come up with a fix, it's called 10.1.5 <laughs> and some of the issues are still remaining, let's check out what they are. So Aether has come up with a new software update, it's 10.1.5 and there are considerably less dashboard reboots now. Uh, uh, the app, the dashboard also shows the latest OTA update number on the dashboard itself. And there is a new button which allows you to add favorites right on the dashboard itself. Uh, issue with Aether is still open uh, because people are reporting problems despite the 10.1.5. Uh, we have not got any reports of screen restarts, but it's just a recent update. So let's take a look and see what users have to say on the Aether forums and of course on the Plugin India forums as well. One user says that the add favorites button is not working and he tried many times, five times and it restarted the entire screen. 
So uh, that is something that is off. Uh, another user says that the turn indicator does not switch off like it has a feature where uh, you can show the turn indicator and once you are done with the turn uh, the indicator switches off. This is something which was anyway dicey in two wheelers it is something which is good for four wheelers because the handle turns back but scooters you generally do not turn enough to click the off feature on. So uh, that could be the reason but yes that is an issue that has been reported. So the maps are not fixed yet and one user has an interesting comment he said uh, that I this is a must fix because it took uh, I took a ride back home from a location after a huge struggle following the maps app on the dashboard. So it seems he rode very slowly or he got lost many times probably because it was not updating fast enough. So uh, that is something and Abhishek Balaji from the Aether forum says that they have not yet fixed the map problem it is uh, scheduled for the version 10.1.6. So we look forward to that fix happening guys. So it is good that it is fixing but it seems that there are more issues new issues that are cropping up and uh, it seems that uh, they are not fixing them all. So there is a user Mr. Rajkumar who says that he is not happy with this because uh, he feels that they are releasing half baked OTA updates and pro problems are still there. So guys this is an interesting thing which is happening uh, for each OTA update for each software update Aether has to test a huge amount of scenarios and uh, can they do it all all the time. Uh, do they spend huge amount of resources on testing out all possible scenarios or let customers be the guinea pig. Now what do you guys feel we want to hear from you please the link to our forums is given in the description below do write to us let us know what you think should be the right solution. I just like to add over here that maybe Aether should slow down the uh, pace of release and release every 3 months but a really properly tested uh, OTA update. So guys if you have faced this issue or you know of a similar issue or you have a solution to any of these issues please go to the forums right over there and let other people know what is going on. Uh, guys what do you think about these issues uh, let us know in the comments below and see you again next week.